What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. I know I'm a few days late on a topic, but better late than never. Um, Jalen McDaniels um, has come out that a few teams are interested in him. Um, the main team is the Phoenix Suns. Um, Jalen McDaniels is going to be an unrestricted free agent at the end of this year. And, um, you know, hopefully we can re-sign him. We'll have to pay a pretty penny. This isn't like restricted free agency where we can just match whatever. Um, he is unrestricted and he could choose to go elsewhere if he doesn't want to be here. And, um, if you're Mitch Kupchak, you know, do you risk losing him for nothing? This is a second round guy that you have kind of developed and turned into a capable NBA player, a good rotation piece. I love Jeremy Daniels. Fuck always spam but i love jim mcdaniels you already know goat mcdaniels you already know what i call him i fuck with him bro good three and d player um his offensive game is just getting better and better and better it seems like every game he's just developing better on the offensive end um i wouldn't be opposed to moving him especially like i said he could possibly walk for nothing and you always have to acknowledge that but I do think if we offer him a fair contract, you know, if we could get him on a contract like we have Cody Martin, I would love that. I would love to have Jim McDaniels over Cody Martin. Just because if you lose McDaniels, you're basically going all in on JT Thor and Kai Jones, which I don't know if we're quite ready to commit to that. So I don't know. Now, as far as what the Suns could offer, um, I feel like it's going to be centered around Jay Crowder. Just because Jay Crowder isn't even playing for the Suns right now. He's away from the team. So I feel like that's going to be the piece that they try to send back. Now, Jay Crowder is also an expiring contract. If, you know, don't quote me on this. I don't have the number directly in front of me. I believe that Jay Crowder has a $12 million, $13 million expiring deal. So, you know, there will have to be some salary matching because Jay Manales is like, a one two million dollar contract like he's on a really small contract so it will have to be some salary matching to complete the trade um now i do like that for cap space obviously um and this is only if jam Daniels is gonna leave for nothing if you can keep him i would love to keep him you know when we talk about trading on this team we're talking about trading the old motherfuckers who aren't contributing not the young motherfuckers who are contributing if we're talking about Gordon Hayward, um, get him the fuck out of here, even though nobody probably wants him. That's the thing about this is that teams are calling us about Jalen McDaniels, which means he might be one of the few assets that people want from us. Uh, these other teams are probably not blowing up our phone about Gordon Hayward. That's just the reality. Um, Plumlee's playing good. He should be tradable. Oubre should be tradable. Um, once his surgery is over, he should be tradable. Um... And then Terry Rozier, he's been playing really good lately. So now's the time if we were really looking to trade him. Um, you know, the Lakers, I can see the Lakers want Terry Rozier because he cooked them both times that we played the last few weeks. So you never know with that. But ultimately, this is about what do other teams want from us? And it seems like it's Jeremy Daniels. I mean, he's a young player on a fucking cheap-ass contract right now. And you know he can come in and help you automatically. Off the bench, good two-way player. So, you know, I understand why he is a hot commodity. I believe him and P.J. Washington, as we get close to the deadline, will be two players that teams target. They could be good, modern, fours. Um, Jim Daniels can play the three. Um, and even P.J. Washington can play the four, stretch five. Players like Jalen McDaniels and P.J. Washington are very key to modern NBA basketball. Every team needs players like that who can, you know, you can go small and can switch everything. Um, yeah. So if I really had any type of say in it, man, I don't want to trade Jalen, bro. We had to, we would have to be, fuck, these fucking random ass numbers. We would have to be getting something really good back in return, man. Like really good. I don't know what the Suns have. Like, I mean, Jay Crowder, but it's like with the salary match, who who goes back for the salary match? That's the that's the thing. We, we're going to have to attach somebody, and it could be Oubre, because I think Oubre is around like $12 million or something like that. So do you trade Oubre McDaniels for Jay Crowder? 
No, I don't. I don't do that. Um, at the end of the day, gentlemen, it was a young piece. And Kelly Oubre is going to be expiring this year anyway. So it's like we could just keep Kelly and just let him expire. You know, like it's just I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's tough. Ultimately, I don't want to trade him. If we can keep him on a good contract, I do want to keep him. Um, unless the management is just super duper high on JT and Kai. I just don't see why you would let Jalen go um, just because, you know, now if teams give you an offer that you can't refuse, I understand. But to me, I I love Jalen Daniels. I just, it just, I don't want to trade him, man. Y'all already knew what my response was going to be. <laughs> if you watch this channel, you already knew what the response was going to be. And uh, once again, I do um, apologize for just the delay, man. I just had so much going on, like, in life. To where I'm trying to get content out, but I'm so busy that, um, you know, I struggle. I'm struggling to stay on top of, like, the breaking news, the fast stuff. Um, and I'm going live tonight, man. At some point during the game, I'm going to go live tonight because, you know, y'all been asking me to go live again. And I, it has been a long time since I went live. Like, it's been a minute. Probably, like, before Christmas. So, like, yeah, I'm going live tonight for sure. But anyways, I'm going to edit this real quick and get this out to y'all. And I'll see y'all in a little bit, man. Um, we're taking on the Raptors again. Um, we're still in Toronto. This should be a, a, a game that we can win. Um, it, we're not, we got blown out. Um, we had our way in the post. So I feel like this should be a game that we should be able to take care of, man. But we'll see. Until then.